Two cute styles on curly hair, one a throwback to the 50s and one slightly more edgy. Here's a tutorial for what I did on this curler set which wasn't looking oh so cute and I needed to get out of the house because this is what I did. I started off with a parting on the left side. I liked it there so I didn't really change much. I moved on to the back where I wanted to transform the curls that, uh, that were given by the roller set and make them look softer, more natural looking and a little bit more casual and elegant. So I went in the back and I just started separating the curls and twirled them around my finger to give them a more spiraled effect. As you can see, all you need to do is separate the curl as many times as you like and spiral it around your finger to give it a more romantic feel. Now that I was satisfied with the way the curls look in the back, I moved on to reducing the bulk of the hair at the crown and creating a more polished look. And I used my hands to just smooth down the other crown, pulling it down and playing with the curls a bit more. If you like, you can make the parting straight. I, I don't know what I was thinking, I didn't work on that part, but I suggest you just make the part look neater. Isolating the curls in the front, I continue to work on the hair on the top of my head, um, just reducing the bulk and elongating the hair just a little bit um, to give it a more structured feel. If you want the hair to lay flat, um, you can go in and use some bobby pins, but I've got a lot of hair and I kind of like the big hair, don't care, you know, vibe that having my hair out and about. So this is the final look. This is truly a throwback to the 50s style, big, curly, beautiful soft hair that definitely demands attention. I liked it. But I wanted something more edgy, so I decided to transform it. The second style is a modification of the first style. It is a lot more edgier than the first one. Um, it's pretty much a sleek style on one side and like an afro puff on the other side using the defined curls to really bring out volume. I smooth the head down on my left side, on the side with the pod and I use bobby pins to push the curls and keep them in place moving them towards the other side of my head. And you can just use as many bobby pins as you need. The more structured, the more flat you want the hair on the one side to lie, the more bobby pins you're going to need. But like I said, I have a lot of hair and too many bobby pins is just going to ruin the look. So I just put in the bobby pins where I thought they would keep the hair back. And now I'm just playing in the curls and making it look good. I do this with my hands smoothing down the curls and elongating them a little bit just to get the curls moving in the in one direction and I'm just playing with the curls making sure it looks nice and fly I went in to put in another couple of bobby pins just to make sure that the hair was sitting nice and tight play with the fringe a little bit fluff out the hair, big hair don't care, truly love it. This is how, you know, I wore my hair for the day. Really liked it, it was quite edgy, yet. Yeah, so really really cute 
um, the clothes were still soft and fresh, looking good. Doesn't take a lot of effort, seriously, a quick style, in and out, um, transforming that roller set style very quickly.